Mahindra Chabra, who is the CFO, and Anurag Gelot, who is the COO of the company. A very good morning, gentlemen, and thank you so much for your time. Firstly, Mr. Gelot, um, good YOI group this time, and you reported the yeah, uh, growing Indian uh, middle class with the increased disposable income is creating a large pool of potential car buyers. And these potential car buyers are feeding the demand for feature rich model, prompting new model launches uh, as well. So customer of customer, these customers are choosing, you know, feature rich or top of the line models and hence upgrade is happening. And this means more content of wiring harness in the car uh, is good for us. So MS will, will always uh, be benefit as cost of the sales are dependent on the models. Hence, higher the model, uh, higher the sales for MS will. So that growth, which has, uh, you have seen uh, from uh, year on year or uh, quarter to quarter also, and uh, it's substantial and uh, looks promising as well. Good morning, Mr. Gellord, as well as Mr. Chabra. The shell is joining in the conversation. And Mr. Chabra, particularly to you, this question is, if you could tell us how is the demand trend actually shaping up in the segments and also uh, the order book, if you could give us an update on the order book, how is it building up, if you've added any new clients or so? Yeah, so in terms of demand, I think we saw the industries uh, witness a good growth as far as Q3 is concerned. And our growth has been in line with the industry, both in terms of value and content as well, like Anurag mentioned. So it's a combination of uh, volume growth uh, in the industry and also the value growth, which is the content per vehicle is going up as the demand for high-end cars or uh, feature uh, cars is going up. And uh, as far as the trends are concerned, uh, we, I, we think that this trend should continue. We already have January numbers, which shows the growth over the previous year. So we expect this growth trend to continue. All right, and lastly, Mr. Gelot, uh, you did add new capacities in which I believe must have contributed to the numbers this time. But what is the utilization level currently for some of the newer facilities? As well as tell us about your um, upcoming CAPEX plans as well. Is there anything in store? Uh, see, uh, we have uh, added the new facilities and, uh, you know, uh, capacity utilization is uh, reaching to an optimum level. Uh, as a company, we have a rule as soon as we are touching to the 80% uh, capacity, uh, we have started expanding, uh, obviously, uh, in line to the customer requirements and the need. And you must have seen some of the OEMs have already, you know, announced the expansion. So we are very much aligned with that. Uh, regarding the capex, we have 125 plus minus, uh, you know, uh, some percentage of uh, CR as a capex for this financial year, and our next financial year is uh, planned accordingly as per our expansion plan. All right, then uh, we leave it there. Thank you so much, Mr. Gelot, as well as Mr. Chabra for joining us on the show and to talk about Madhusan Sumi Wiring's earnings and uh, where you see the order book and the demand headed from year on. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, viewers, let's continue taking your queries.